very first time, your newest teppanyaki chef, Mr. Stephen Q. Urkel. <laughs> Your permission, I would like to prepare a specialty of the house. Tsunami Supreme! and your over-the-top response, you, you saved my restaurant. Uh, you killed my business, but you saved my restaurant. Oh, you are a kind and wise man, kind and wise. Yeah. Well, one day when the place is all dried out, you can come back here and cook any time you like. Really? Oh, thank you. I am a very fortunate man. Because no one got hurt? Uh, that and uh, I just renewed my flood insurance. <laughs> Stakes. Like what? The loser stays away from Laura forever. <laughs> You're on. Hey, Laura. Looks like Urkel chickened out. Too bad. I was looking forward to humiliating him. <laughs> no wonder he's so handsome. God put all his good qualities on the outside. Get by the way. <laughs> Dang, I thought I could remember without the paper. <laughs> Steve is still suiting up. Phillips, you go first. Go! Oh, for nine seconds, you broke your record. Yeah. Yeah. For you, baby. 
put your shirt on. Couldn't we have taken a vote? <laughs> I'm a lot. Urkel will never beat my time. Guess again! <laughs> hey, what's that? Look, listen, and learn. <laughs> Coach, if you please. Ready. Set. Go! Three point two seconds! Pardon my exhaust. Steve, you did it! You won! Feast your eyes one last time, and then hit the road, Jack. <laughs> How's the swimming going? <laughs> swimming? <laughs> it's more like choreographed sinking. <laughs> Let's see. I flunk swimming. I don't graduate. I don't get an MIT or any other college. I can't get a good job. And I end up selling my car for cheese. <laughs> <laughs> So can you. Hey. Hey. Yeah. You're right. I'm not afraid of the water anymore. Congratulations, Steve. <laughs> Honey, you were great. Hey, I smell a conspiracy. <laughs> well, Steve, I had to think of some way for you to forget your fear of water and go with your gut instinct. Wow. Now I'll graduate because of my beautiful gal and my big boss pal. Thank you both from the bottom of my little Urkel heart. <laughs> Steve? Ah, the fair Juliet. How lovely thou lookest. <laughs> Are you okay? Sure. Good, some lunkhead bird. Jerk, jerk, jerk all over your makeup mirror. That's okay. I'm the lunkhead. <laughs> well, why'd you do that? Because it's true. I am a jerk. Laura, I ruined the play. Steve, it was an accident. I mean, it could have happened to anybody. <laughs> Well, there must be somebody else it could happen to. Nope. It was Vintage Urkel. <laughs> Laura, I've dreamed all my life of being kissed by you. And when it finally happened, I blew it. I turned a magical moment into a three-ring circus. See if you made a mistake, that's all. But I ruined it for you, too. I mean, you were the best Juliet there ever was. And I made you look like a fool. Believe me, Steve, nobody thinks I'm a fool. <laughs> really? Do you mean it, or are you saying it just to make me feel better? I mean it. 
in fact, the audience liked what you did. I mean, they gave us a standing ovation, five curtain calls. They loved it so much, they wouldn't even let us finish the play. Well, we couldn't finish the play. I level Verona. <laughs> Thanks for cheering me up, Laura. You're welcome. Touching, sorry. <laughs> Come on, let's go to the cast party. Great! Steve? Steve? Where's Steve? Are you referring to that scrawny human with the big feet? He said it was a matter of life and death. Oh, that wasn't Steve. That was me. I can do anyone. Steve, go home. <laughs> Steve, go home. <laughs> Steve, go home. <laughs> Steve, go home. <laughs> well, since my baby left me, <laughs> okay, hold it. I want to know where Steve is right now. Don't forget Steve. He was inferior. I am superior. You will marry me and we will function happily ever after. <laughs> Come on, baby. Let's energize. <laughs> could try looking at each other without turning beet red. <laughs> I feel better already. Oh, me too. Oh, Laura, 
I just hope you know that what happened was purely an accident. Oh, Steve, of course. Otherwise, I'd have to kill you. <laughs> Why, never in my wildest fantasies have I ever envisioned you in the altogether. Of course, there was that one hot summer night. I was tossing and turning in bed, and I pictured you in slacks and a blue blazer. <laughs> Steve, that's all right. I mean, we all have fantasies. Fortunately, mine are nothing like yours, but we all have them. Well, I don't know if I can sleep tonight. I'm afraid I might see again what I shouldn't have seen, but did. Well, Steve, we can't go back in time and change what happened. True. Anyway, I appreciate the fact that when you saw me, you looked away. Almost immediately. <laughs> And you didn't go blab about it to a bunch of guys. Oh, of course not. Why, I have profound respect for you. And I appreciate the fact that when you saw me, you didn't point and laugh. <laughs> Believe me, Steve, there was nothing to laugh about. <laughs> been around because he's in the hospital. He's got leukemia. Oh, I feel awful. I said a lot of bad things about Andre, but I never wanted anything like this to happen. Well, Steve, of course you didn't. I gotta do something to cheer him up. Students, teachers, truants, and the like, like sign up for the bone marrow drive and help save a life. Hey, Steve, how's it going? Great. So far, so good. Why, my routine appears to be dazzling him. Hey, Urkel, I thought Andre was doing better. Yeah, I thought he was doing better. Well, he is. But what he really needs is a bone marrow transplant. Well, why don't they just give him one? Well, it's really hard finding a match. And Andre's best chance for one is with another African-American. Unfortunately, not enough of us are registered. Registered? To be registered, you have your blood drawn and tested. Then, if you match a patient, they do some more tests. Then if it looks like you still match, well, you're well on your way to becoming a donor. Oh. Well, I'm fine up. Oh, that's so sweet, sweetums. But you have to be 18 or over. But I see some seniors out there. <laughs> like the football team, for example. Well, I know a lot of you have to be 18, 19, 20, 21. <laughs> I'm 18, I'll sign up. Okay, I'll step right up. Oh. Nice going, Steve. Oh, thanks, Pickle Cheeks. But this is just the beginning. Why, there's a lot more work to be done. All right, step right up, everybody. Sign up or grab some info, but get your booties and gear right over here. visit to Nappy Lane. After that, you'll wake up in Sober Lane. Now, come on and let's get you upstairs. You know, I... <laughs> Steve, you are such a good friend. Thank you. You're a good friend, too. No, no, no. I'm serious. <laughs> you always care for me. And you know what? I appreciate it. <laughs> you know that? <laughs> yes, I know you do. I... <laughs> Now, uh, upsy-daisy. 
You know what, Steve? I am so sorry about your eye. Eh, no problemo. Actually, my vision's getting better. I'm only seeing double now. <laughs> well, I know what'll help. Oh. How does that feel? Oh, great. Only it's the swollen black and blue eye. <laughs> better? Much. <laughs> oh, yeah. Pain's all gone now. Well, how's the big man on campus? <laughs> For your information, <clears throat> I've been asked to pledge Beta Chi. <sighs> Isn't Beta Chi that really cool fraternity with all the good-looking guys? Yep. <laughs> I wonder what they want with you. <laughs> you better watch it, or else I won't introduce you to any of them when you get to college. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm really glad for you, Eddie, you know, getting into such a cool fraternity. Thanks, Laura. And all it cost you was your best friend. So Steve told you, huh? He didn't have to. I could hear him sobbing from his sensory deprivation tank. <laughs> Look, Laura, I can't help what happened. I mean, Steve is still in high school. I'm in college now. I'm into a whole new social thing. Steve wanted to tag along, and I had to cut the cord. Look, Eddie, I know Steve is irritating, but he has feelings just like anybody else. He's been a good friend to all of us, especially you, Eddie. But, Laura... He it's... idolizes you. Like, you remember the time you broke your tennis racket, then you gave it to Steve? Yeah. He bronzed that broken tennis racket, Eddie, and he keeps it in his family safe deposit box. <laughs> wow. He acted like you had given him gold. Wow, for me? Thanks, Edo. You're the bossest but a guy ever had. <laughs> <sighs> he has everything you've ever given him. Do you really want to write him off as a friend? The one person in this whole world that thinks that much of you? Well, the storm clouds are gone. Care to cuddle up with a little ray of sunshine? Don't you care at all about what happened to my dad's friend? Don't you have any feelings? Well, of course I do. But when I find myself burdened by the troubles of the world, I try to cheer myself up by thinking about all the wonderful clothes I own. <laughs> Stefan, we have to talk. Oh? I never thought I'd say this in a million years, but... But what? I miss Steve Urkel. Why? Because he had feelings. He cared about people. Face it, Stefan, numero uno on your list is you. Can you blame me? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Look at me. I'm incredible. Good-looking, charming, suave, and cool. That's it. I want Steve back. Steve was an annoying, clumsy nerd. A man would have to be crazy to go back to that. Oh. This is the antidote to the cool elixir. I call it the elixir fixer. <laughs> Will that make you Steve again? Well, the village idiot. <laughs> it's never been tested. Wait, don't do it if it's dangerous. Laura, I've been Stefan Urkel for a week, and I've got all the things I've always wanted. Friends, fame, and popularity. But if I don't have you, I have nothing. Uh, 
Enchanté. Got any cheese? Table for two. Then I do that. Yo, sweet thing. so glad to hear such an annoying sound. Well, that's not very nice. Oh, but I forgive you. Hey, is this another new look you're trying out? Yes, indeed, sweetie. And I think this might be the one. <laughs> you know those super cool, trendy hip guys? Oh, yeah. <laughs> you're not one of them. <laughs> Lemonade? No, thank you. Well, if you hear a weird sound in five minutes, that's me trying to get out of these pants. <laughs> what? You were looking at Steve. No, I wasn't. Oh, yes, you were. You were checking him out. It was an innocent glance. Not a check. <laughs> Mitty, you have feelings for Steve Urkel. Well, maybe just a little bit. Oh, <laughs> you are crazy! You are dating Stefan Urkel. He is gorgeous and smooth, and Steve is not. I know, but Steve has other qualities I find attractive. He's kind, generous, he's smart. I got my pants on! And he makes me laugh. Now look, take a load off. Okay. I'm gonna get a fresh basketball, and we'll be back on the court in less than five minutes. Right, take, take a load off. I'm taking a load off. Right, right. <laughs> half-court shots all day? Since 5 a.m. Oh, that feels so good. Cool. Refreshing. Eddie. What's up? You're pushing him too hard. By the time you guys get to L.A., he's gonna be too tired to make the shot. Laura, do you understand that there's a million dollars riding on Steve making this shot? No, oh, but Ed, I... Oh, ow. Ed, I... <laughs> So much pain. My, my back aches, my arm burns, my feet hurt. Oh, even my tushy tender. <laughs> Come on, Steve, let's go back to the court. Let's go, let's go. Okay, okay, yeah. Come on. okay, 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 oh, okay, okay, okay. Oh, that old baby. I don't think there's any way I can make it all the way to that door. Yo, bro, no problemo. See, I got your back. That's what brothers are for. Oh, what you to do, I'm here for you. Oh, oh right <laughs> on. You got it, baby. You the man. That's it. You think you can make it? Please. Your grandmother has a better chance of making this show. <laughs> Winslow. 
Hello. Winslow, will you be my valentine? Steve, every year you ask me to be your valentine. And every year I turn you down. What made you think this year would be different? Oh, I don't know. I just thought that since you and Ted broke up, well, you might be feeling kind of lonely. And since I'm always lonely, well, I thought that maybe we could be each other's valentine. And for a short while, a few bittersweet hours, we could help guide each other through the rocky shoals of human heartache. Oh, Steve, that's beautiful. Thanks. Kermit said that to Miss Piggy and the Muppets Go Hawaiian. <laughs> Listen, I might agree to be your valentine. Oh, 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 but, oh. But, but, but only on one condition. On what's that? There can't be any lip contact. Ah. The ignominious no-lip clause. Well, you know, baby, I'm a pretty hard-nosed negotiator, and I... Take it or work. leave it. I'll take it. <laughs> Happy Valentine's Day, Steve. Happy Valentine's Day, Laura. The reason why I stopped by is... Well, I'm sorry about Jimmy. But I want to thank you for standing up for me. Hey, I stood up for myself. Ah, so it was just a matter of principle. That's right. And had nothing to do whatsoever with the possibility that you care about me in any way? That's right. Not even the slightest little teensy-weensy, itsy-bitsy bit? Well... Stop there. I'll take it. <laughs> How about a hug? Two seconds. <laughs> Thanks, Steve. He said he was gonna be here at nine. Relax, Laura. It's only ten after. Oh, my God. I thought it was only five after. <laughs> Hi, Laura. Oh, Steve! Whoa! Oh, oh, I thought you'd be happy to see me. <laughs> Standard issue. I'm not talking about the outfits. <laughs> Laura, why'd you track me away? I was just about to tell Carl. Houston, we have ignition. <laughs> Sorry, I just had to do that. Oh, never apologize for kissing me. I am so proud of you. Really? Of course. The first student in space. You're only 21 years old, and you're making history. And to think a year ago, I couldn't get a job at Taco Bell. <laughs> well, well, I... What's the matter? I don't know. I was just thinking. It took me 15 years to realize how important you are to me. <laughs> now I, I could lose you. No way. Ain't gonna happen. Um, Steve, I want you to promise me something. Why, anything. I want you to promise me that no matter what, you'll find a way to come back to me. I promise, Laura Lee. Are you ready to go, Steve? Yep. Bring forth the academic onslaught. Okay. <laughs> okay, we're gonna start out with the periodic table of elements. Ooh, my fave. Okay. <laughs> Shoot. Okay. What's the atomic weight of scandium? 44.956. Titanium. 47.89. Mm, close is 0.88. Stupid, stupid, stupid! <laughs> You're a straight-A student. You're the smartest kid in school. No big deal. Like, this country is lousy with geniuses. I have to be the smartest of the smartest. 
So you can't get into an omelet like MIT without breaking a few eggheads. Steve, I've never seen you like this. It's just that I've, I've wanted to go to MIT ever since I was in diapers. My, my first word was Massachusetts. Well, then let's just get to work. All right, you line them up and I'll knock them down. All right. And I'm gonna take the hair of Albert Einstein. Then I'll use my gene splitting skills and extract a strand of DNA. Then I'll unlock the genetic code that made Einstein a genius. Then I'll whip up an Albert elixir and become the smartest dude on Earth. Hello. You're already one of the smartest kids on Earth. Just be yourself. Uh-oh. I don't think you use Einstein's here. You used Elvis's. How oh, no! Steve, what happened? I must have burned out a current induction chip. Well, what are you gonna do? I don't know, baby. <laughs> run down to the electronics emporium and pick up a new chip. You stay here and stall the recruiter. And please, do anything you can, but don't let him leave. Don't worry, Steve, I'll stall him for you. Oh, thanks. You must love me, Tinder. Uh-huh, uh-huh, hey. Oh, get a hold of yourself, man. Miss Winslow, Mr. Urkel is now 20 minutes late. I have a lot of promising students to see today. Oh, uh, Steve will be here any second. You gotta wait for him. Uh, Steve and MIT were made for each other. Yes, well, I'm afraid I'm gonna have to note his tardiness. I'm noting. <laughs> Okay, Mr. Urkel. Would you call me? Um, that's a um, nickname you came up with so that your fans wouldn't hound you? Oh, sorry, I got mad. I guess I was all the sugar. Why are you wearing this silly outfit? Hey, man, don't be cruel. I'm afraid I'm gonna have to note your bizarre behavior. I'm noting. You seem a little upset. Want a Cadillac? Are you trying to bribe me, Mr. Urkel? Not a caddy man, huh? How about a watch? Oh, excuse us. Steve, snap out of it. This is Mr. Fleming of MIT. I know Priscilla, baby. I can see him. Look, you're blowing the whole interview. Oh, interview? Uh, uh, you'll have to arrange that with the colonel. <laughs> Mr. Fleming, there's a clear explanation for all of this. Psychosis? <laughs> no. Steve was worried about this interview with you, so he decided to change his DNA pattern to Albert Einstein's, but he made a mistake and used one of Elvis's hairs instead of Einstein's and transformed himself into the king. <laughs> does this sound as crazy as I think it does? Oh, yeah. So where are you going? Oh, to the Polka Palooza. I was hoping to take Laura, but she wouldn't be caught dead there. <laughs> exactly. Well, hasta. Steve, wait. I'm the star of Heidi Comes to Harlem. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Steve, this is amazing. You started a clinic? Wow, Polka's giving me so much, I just had to give something back. It started with the Bavarian Meals on Wheels, which led to a fun drive to buy more beer clocks. And finally, the inner city Polka Clinics. Oh. <laughs> Steve, you're incredible. Oh, no. I'm... Just an ordinary guy in canvas pants with a crazy dream. Yeah. <laughs> the award goes to the King Polka of the decade. The only one to win unanimously. <laughs> Stephen Q. <Kuehl. laughs> oh, oh, gee, this is an incredible... 
incredible honor. Oh, I just love being here with all my polka pals. <laughs> but what makes it extra special is that tonight, I'm here with the love of my life, Laura Winslow. Oh, Laura. <laughs> Laura, take a bath. Dance with your sweetie. Yeah! 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 Laura, may I have this dance? Steve, I don't know how to poker. Just follow my lead and let the accordion sweep you away. <laughs> <laughs> Steve? Oh? I love you too. <laughs> 